we have something serious to talk about today, something that is going to rock your world that none of you are gonna agree on. I'm talking about the paint color of your tractor and attachments. The importance of paint color cannot be overstated. Each brand is known by one specific color. Shoot, there's forums named after certain colors of tractor, not the brand name, just the color. Loyalty to a tractor paint color is similar to loyalty to a certain truck brand. If you ever have a problem and dare tell somebody about it, you're never gonna hear the end of it. It is amazing how many times I am asked if I get an attachment in a certain paint color. And if I can't, they won't buy it. I had one customer recently tell me that if I can't paint those weights John Deere green, I'm gonna lose the sale. And guess what? I lost that sale. And so you may be asking yourself, why does paint color matter so much? Well, now it's time for a few little known facts. Now, just like if you touch a baby bird and put it back in its nest, its mother may reject it. The same thing could happen with a tractor and a tractor attachment. If your attachment is not the same shade as your tractor, you better watch out. It could completely shut down. It might just kick it right off. It certainly won't start and run the PTO. You better watch out. You see that John Deere green paint back there behind me? What I bet you didn't know is that they use a bunch of leprechauns making a secret recipe using four leaf clovers and pots of gold to get that special shade of green. No wonder it costs so much. Kubota designed its paint to fade if it sat outside too long to publicly shame its owners. Now, ironically, its quality fades as fast as its paint. Now, that's why Massey chose to go with red, because you should always keep it in a shed. Always keep it in the shed. Now, as far as New Holland, why they chose blue, well, I haven't got a clue. Or who knows, you know, maybe they just wanted to set the certain mood for their tractor. Obviously with John Deere, they want to make your neighbors green with envy. With Massey Red, maybe get you fired up and get your work done. With New Holland Blue, I don't know, maybe you're just kind of mellow and chill. And as far as Kubota Orange, I don't know, I'm thinking it must have just been the cheapest paint color out there. All right, so just having a little bit of fun there, but where I'm going with this is that we're a tractor attachment dealer here, and you know, historically, John Deere owners have been the absolute pickiest about their paint color, and if it didn't match, they didn't want it. But did you know that most three-point arms where these attachments are going are either gonna be black or gray? And yeah, there's an exception here and there, but far and away, most of them are black or gray in color. And so for me, as a attachment dealer, that sells nationwide. We sell and ship all over the country to any tractor brand out there, right? A three-point hitch is a three-point hitch. It's very challenging and very costly to have the same attachment in red, green, blue, and orange, and then maybe something else as well. It just is too much. So we decided to just to simplify everything, all right? We chose one color to go with, right? It just helps us fill a lot more orders. It goes with pretty much everything that's out there. It's just kind of a neutral color, all right? And it's not the end of the world either way. It's gonna work with your tractor regardless of what color paint is on it. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. Now, on top of that, as we've gone through this pandemic, lead times have been getting longer and longer and longer. And products have been getting harder and harder to get in general. And so the more that we can kind of dumb it down almost and simplify everything, the easier it is to get inventory in and try to streamline that process. And I get it because in a perfect world, yeah, we'd all have the exact paint match on our attachments as our tractor, but your tractor's gonna get the work done. That's the most important part of this is completing your projects when you can, not worrying so much about the paint color. Worst case scenario, you can always strip that paint off and repaint it the color that you want to. I know we've had quite a few folks that have used our red Spico quick hitches, repainted them to match whatever color their tractor was. It was gonna work just fine either way, but if it makes you feel better, more power to you. And now there are certain attachments that we can't get in any other color besides the one color that the manufacturer makes it in. And even with Dirt Dog, this is a new color that they introduced this year. It's something that I was pretty much pleading for all of last year is that could we transition to a gray color which was not in their product lineup at all and so that's why in previous videos you see me using uh, orange and green and an occasional red attachment from Dirt Dog because gray was not even a color option available. And while we're on the subject of paint, has anybody ever given a thought as to why you can only get a tractor in one color, right? I know there was a brand out there a while back, maybe it was in Europe even, that you could actually select the different colors or maybe it was a lawnmower line of it. I can't recall what it was, but somebody will remind me of that. 
But other than that, you can only get the Kubota in orange, right? You can only get the Massey in red, the John Deere in green. Why don't we have color options available? Now, if you are dead set on getting a certain attachment in a certain color, we can get most of those orders fulfilled in your green, your red, your blue, your orange. However, it's gonna have a long lead time. We're not gonna typically stock it unless it's just a couple of leftovers that we may have laying around. So with this current environment, you could be looking at a six month, maybe longer, maybe shorter lead time to get that product. So if you're thinking about a snow pusher, it's springtime right now, so six months out is the fall. Now is the time to order it. And same thing in the fall, if you're thinking about maybe a brush hog or a tiller for the spring and you want it to match, get it ordered in the fall, we'll have it in for spring. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. If you are in the market for a tractor attachment, don't forget, we sell and ship all over the country. Most of our stuff's gonna be a pretty neutral color, so hopefully you can get by with that. Check us out, goodworkstractors.com. If you do enjoy tractor videos, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below, totally free. You'll just get notified when we have a new video. We'd love to have your comments as well. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.